are now listening to Hoodcast AF, the bad boys of action figure podcasting. Join Jonathan Fallen and Papa Dad as they shit talk some action figure related shit. Be warned that the ideas and opinions expressed are nothing more than entertainment. So fuck off and enjoy. 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 enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Hoodcast begins. Now. Welcome to Hoodcast. And we will begin once this fart clears because it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have lowered my A1C or raised it. <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck that is, but you know what? Yeah. My doctor, like we were talking before the show, he said I'm a, a pre pre diabetic. Which yeah. that, basically he just called me a fat piece of shit. How dare and I said, you? Fuck right. you, give me what I'm here for, and then I'll bounce. You know? Because <laughs> he's like a pill pusher. Even though I don't take pills, but I, I wean myself off the mental medications, which is why I'm crazier now. But, you know, right. maybe it's for the better. Who knows? I need to get some of that. Oh, 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 Zambic. It works. You know? Like, I think I'm a prime candidate for it. I'm not like super fat. I don't need Wigovi. No, no, no. Wigovi. You're you're super big. You're the ideal person because it it's not meant to like lose the weight for you and then keep it off or whatever. Yeah, that's a part of you. Like Fixing it just is a, like a it's just a little Kickstarter really to help you lose some weight and then and then it helps with your blood sugar. You know, get your blood sugar down, get your A1C down, shit like that, bro. It's just the uh, people that. Are lazy and have money are like yo i could lose 100 pounds on this shit i mean you could just take some because i i listen to all the commercials and i sing them you know like the ozempic and the jardians jardians yeah. and lower my a1c yeah. and there's like we go v where like you're doing your job but then you just see all these people marching for we go v and so you got march with them yeah and it doesn't matter well, i'll tell you this man i'm on ozempic it's been for five seven weeks now no, no, six weeks. Excuse me, six weeks, and it's been rough, dude. Like my body is not. It's not just taking it really great. Like it's, I've been fucking nauseous. I'm, I'm having the side effects. Yeah, yeah. It's it. Well, I mean, it's it's a quick fix. So you yeah, know, your body's but it gonna takes be like, a while. <laughs> well, my doctor says for some people it takes a while to adjust to it, and it's taken a while, bro. It's, it's been tough. But I'm trying to like like bulldoze through this month before the uh surgery so i can like we were saying the a1c down so they'll approve the surgery so right but in so far i mean i i've lost 17 pounds i mean it it's working plus the little bit of diet or whatever but uh you the, know i like the, the little, fact that i'm the eating, little bit of I'm, diet like in your snack yeah your yeah household. well i'm just drinking more sodas i mean more water <laughs> and um yeah more soda more water and uh the portions that I've been eating are less, and I'm not. That shit does. I, I'm not hungry all the time because of those empty. Yeah, yeah. I gotta. I gotta get me some of that. Why not? Everyone else is Just doing it. Go to your it. doctor, bro. They'll they'll tell you. Well, I, I was tell, I was telling the fig wife I was gonna do that. I was gonna you know tell the. I don't even go to the fucking doctor unless you know something's really wrong. But all this weight on me is is kind of adding up <laughs> over yeah. time. So you hear that, all you fat fuck action figure collectors? Let's all get some Ozempic. Yeah, I mean, work for that. I mean, really, I was starting at like about a month and a half ago. I was really complaining about going and putting on my clothes, like my Niner jersey and shit. That bet me perfect. Perfect. At it the beginning to... of last season. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling and not kind of snug this season. <laughs> But now I'm noticing uh, like, it's fitting a little bit better. I'm, you know, I can button up the shirts instead of have to front like, uh, you know, it's hot and wear them open. Yeah, you buttons know? looking like they're holding on to that train like Spider-Man yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But my the, doctor is out of her fucking mind, bro. I'm like, I was 274. Now I'm under, like, I'm, I'm getting close to almost 20 pounds, like 270, 250 something, 55, 56, something like that. This bitch wants me at like 190. I'm like, are you fucking out of your mind? I haven't been 190 since high school. Yeah, I think my normal weight would be 220. And I weigh like, I mean, I'm 6'2", 6'3", if I stand up straight. 
which I never do. Uh, but I weigh like over 300 pounds right now, you know? And, How uh, over? Uh, it's like 309, I think, is the last time I All weighed right. myself. Bro, you're like 6'2", and you're not like a skinny 6'2". You're a thick man. Like, yeah. a, like you have a bone structure that... You know, no ditty, but you, you, your bone structure holds your weight. No but, ditty. But now the, the Purdy jersey is looking like portly, you know? <laughs> oh, see, I was having that problem. <laughs> Bro, last Sunday I wore my old jersey, uh, my Vernon Davis jersey, and it fit. And that wasn't fitting at all. <laughs> I know, dude. It's so weird. I held on to these, like, clothes that were too big for me, and now they, they fit without a belt. <laughs> you know, I'm like, holy shit. I'm glad I didn't throw these away. Now I got extra money to spend on action figures. Right. <laughs> well, with the this is uh, show 221. Let's get to some action figure news. Join the Hoodcast AF Patreon for bonus media and episodes. It's cheaper than the garbage you buy on a daily basis. Cheaper than a dollar a week, you could have access to tons of bonus episodes and content. For only $3 a month, you will be indoctrinated into the Hoodcast Cult Collective. And now the action figure news. So I'm actually out here in L.A. and, you know, broadcasting from uh, the great establishment, the Holiday Inn. And uh, <laughs> it is fabulous here. No, it's, it's fine. It's not like it's terrible or nothing, but... Uh, I was looking nah, 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 nah. We were going to get uh, one Adam 12 on the show, but he had to work late at his, his uh, clown shoe, clown, sh- uh, clown college. So uh, maybe next week, I think. And then he should have some like decent Hollywood stories and like all the action figure shit from around this area. Because I tell you what, it's slim pickings out here. There's really? So many collectors, and then so many of the, the Walmarts and stuff. Everything's behind, you know, locked fucking cabinets, and there's nothing in there, anyways. Huh. You know? Yeah. But, uh, anyways, shit. Uh, this week. Yeah, we ain't we ain't dig figs that get fucking. In the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't dig figs that gets everything every fucking day in this Walmart. He must, he must uh, have a residency there. I don't, some people right. just hit up Walmart before I, they go to work and shit, you know, and they just find good shit. Nah, you know what it is? This fucker secretly works there part time. Maybe. I've I've known. You don't tell nobody. I've, I've heard of people getting jobs just for the action figure, you know, hookup. Just hey, just put me on the payroll so I can come in the back, you know, unload a truck right. once a week or something like that, and that's it. Yeah, he sleeps. He sleeps with the back. The, the chick who works in the back that, like, is like a kind, kind of manlyish because she works the truck. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't but allow her in front of the her. house. Yeah, he fucks her in the back because she doesn't get any dick, so he provides dick, and then she lets him get access to all the boxes. So that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Smart. Since my A one C is so high, I don't think my dick works as well, but it still works pretty good. Right. But I don't know if I can get it up for a hose beast, you know? Well, I mean, all you gotta do is tell yourself the the, the, the pros. Don't worry about the cons. The pros are the toys and close your eyes, you still get the bust a nut. Yeah, that's true, but I'm not thinking that way, you know. I'm I'm thinking I got a million thoughts a minute. Well, I believe Diggs work. is a very, very, very calculated man. And he's playing this Walmart half a dyke looking bitch right. Uh, yeah. So who we're talking about is is people on the Instagram that we all follow. And uh, so if you're on Instagram or if you're not, join Instagram and ask to be part of Hoodcast Checks. We have a lot of fun in there. So, yeah, with that, let's get into Hot Toys. So they showed off their Terminator 2. T-800 battle damage version. And this shit looks fucking fire, dude. It's like, you know, end of the movie fucking Terminator yeah. 2 with, you know, the broken off arm and shit like that. Yeah. It, it's it's pretty good, man. It is. They also showed off a Batman Returns Michael Keaton Batman. And this, they got the fucking likeness down on this. This looks very realistic. I like this one a lot. 
they also showed them like you know with the batmobile in the background so and i think they have had that batmobile before in one six scale but they're probably re-releasing it i don't know it's is this a, a re-release it might be with updated sculpt or something but I think it, so. it looks really good i'm sure hot toys has put out a batman returns or you know sideshow has definitely i think right let's move on to NECA. So with the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they have their comic, not Comic Con, New York Comic Con exclusive, I think it is, and that's going to be Kevin Eastman as the Garbage Man. Yeah, the first I see movie, that. and he definitely uh, resembles like a, a Hall or an Oats, one of them, the one, the one with the mustache and the mullet. <laughs> I don't know. I He's, think that's Oats. Is it Oats? Yeah. Hall is the one with the blonde hair, right? Yeah, that's okay. the that's the guy who got all the pussy. But the other guy didn't get any? Come on. Remember Lois slept with Oates just to fuck Hall? Wait, Lois? No, Lois like, is, right? Like like Peter Griffin Lois? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lois Griffin? Yeah. Yeah, she fucked Oates to get to Hall. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't? Uh, Yeah, but I'm not taking his Oates. If they work the back room at a Target or something... <laughs> would you well Oates had that nice like uh, curly long hair they'd call you a man you know <laughs> so I, I would be the I have to be the aggressive top though no diddy also one of their con exclusives uh, the Ben Cooper they have the skeleton girl so it's essentially the same thing as a skeleton boy but just with the girl head uh, same mask, same jumpsuit, but it glows in the dark this time, so that's why it's exclusive. see that they could be really good about it and give us a gender specific skeleton. They could, but you know, and the, then you really could tell if it's a girl because right now the sculpt is a man. The well, skeleton's a man. The skeleton, it's a transgender. It's a transgender skeleton. Well, technically, the girl well, body of Neneka is the same body as the boy body, so. The only way so, you can yeah. tell is the pigtails. You don't know if it's a woman or, or like a girl. That's or a boy. what I'm saying. It could so be a boy in pigtails. You don't know. So if those two, uh, the the regular skeleton Neca died, and so did this new one died, and they both got buried next to each other, people would find them and think it was the two original ones, because a girl's skeleton is different from a boy's. It is, and it does look very different. Like. The the bone structure the is a little no, narrower and shit. It's the hips. And trust so me, they, I, they have I've, a bigger hole in their pelvis bone. Yeah, I've studied this because I've definitely run my hands up and down, you know, a female skeleton many a times. Right. <laughs> I, I dated a really skinny girl once, and it was it was kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely weird. I felt like I was, you know, and I thought I was big then, and I was like, you know way less weight but i was still a big dude you know and this girl was like i heard skinny girls got deep pussies yeah I, I mean i definitely put it all the way in a lot of times but it was like you know so thin you know like it's it's just weird dude. did it look pop out did it look dude, like a chest buster let me tell you the pelvic bones. when you fucked her did it look like a chest buster <laughs> yeah i was breaking her ribs somehow I'm like what the fuck is that <laughs> She's like, stop! <laughs> <laughs> it came out like on Spaceballs at the end. It was like, hello, my lady. Right. Hello, hello, my, my lady. Hello, my honey. <laughs> <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> Check, please. Uh, yeah. So also with NECA, their fall target geek out. They have uh, Megan Ultimate, which they've showed off at Comic-Con before. The uh, Planet of the Apes Gorilla Soldier. Uh, a new ALF. Which is totally '80s Alf, who comes with like an Atari kind of looking thing, a TV, some other '80s shit for Alf to have. Like, boy, Neck is like, I'm not gonna say they're killing it because whatever, people are buying this shit for accessories. It's the same fucking Alf figure. You know how many different expressions can you do on Alf? Mouth open, mouth closed, headband. Oh, he, was a no. he didn't have no facial expressions. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, how can you yeah. sell the same figure? You have to just give him different accessories. Oh, he comes with an Atari. Oh, he's got sunglasses. Why Why? Why ain't they doing the family? What the fuck wants the family? 
like the people who are actually collecting the owls would probably want it. Nah. Nah. There's no characters for the you want like maybe like the dad or the the kid. I don't know. They all suck. The show was that show sucked. It was okay when I was younger, and I watched it recently, and it's 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 awful. It's not terrible, terrible, but it's there's no real it's good terrible. jokes. You know, it was terrible back then, bro. Like I even as a kid tried. You know, you it you watched it because you were like, you know, as a kid, you watch all the cartoons or Fucking whatever, puppets, anything like dude, that. Puppets, yeah, puppets, yeah, puppets, and even. The puppet factor couldn't do it for me. I was like, man, I hate Alf. The fucking shit sucks. Nah, you, the puppet factor wasn't doing it for you, so you went back to your uh, fuck monkey? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a sexy fucking puppet. Yeah. Uh, they also have their holiday turtles, which are available for pre-order, which are god-awful, but hey, they're reminiscent of a eh. film that I never watched. So whatever. Uh, let's move I mean, on. Yeah, for the novelty of like busting them out once a year under the like for your cr- Christmas display, that's kind of cool. I, yeah, I guess if you want all these Christmas figures, because I, I don't put up a tree, because I have all these cats. They, yeah. I can't put up a tree. You should get if one I of those. Up, I said it, those trees that you put on the ceiling, you know, upside down tree, or maybe just electrify it. Like you want some fried pussy in your. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to wwe so they have their la night ultimate uh series 23 which also includes uh dom mysterio ultimate so i think people are looking out for those and then their newer superstars line um which is kind of like the he-man style but without masters of the universe bullshit so they got cactus jack and soft goods and the heart foundation which is jim the anvil knight heart and bret hart those i i I buy this line sometimes just of my favorite wrestlers but and i really like this line but i gotta stop buying these fucking shits it's just stupid i don't use them for anything you know yeah they're stupid bro they're useless they're not useless it's if if you're a collector who wants that kind of remco like better style than I see it because they they do sell Primo loves them shits let's move on to the Todd father the Mac daddy of freshness himself Todd McFarlane what's up Todd that's right (laughs) I don't know Uh, that's right I'm Casey Kasem and I'm talking to Todd McFarlane hey right Todd yeah, I think Todd just said he put out a Commander Steel gold label, which is a Target exclusive. He also showed off his Sinistro of a Parallax version, also gold label, exclusive to Target. Oh, he also wanted to show off his Batman Noel, but he says it's not screen ac- or not screen accurate, but comic book accurate because. The cloth cape should go in to his bat symbol on his chest, but it in fact does not. It still looks like a dope figure, though. I do like the Batman Noel. Like the the art, I never read it, but the art in it looked really cool, and the design of the Batman suit was pretty cool. So I think yeah. this figure looks pretty good. It's just not it's not correct, but whatever. He also had a Batman Beyond Neo Gothic. Whatever the fuck that is, it just looks like another Batman Beyond with more pointy yeah. ears. Uh, yeah. Bat- Batman with glider from the Thirteenth Hour. Which I don't... Batman with a glider. Uh, it's cool. It, it, the the box. It looks like you get like a cityscape that pops out, which looks pretty cool. It's like cardboard. I'm I'm done with Batman it's from McFarland. If you're done with Batman, well then make way for Batman. <laughs> Yeah. From McFarlane, <laughs> Batman, yeah. and from the Silver Age with the Bat Hound. That's right, Bat Dog and Batman. I'm Casey yeah. Cajun. <laughs> this summer, <laughs> Rob Schneider is a carrot, <laughs> and he's gonna find out that being a carrot ain't all what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> and this week, Rob Schneider's a stapler. <laughs> Yeah. See what wild derp, wacky derp, adventures. Derp, derp. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, derp, 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 derp. 
Boy, I'm watching all those. Rob Schneider got, he says he got quietly canceled. Like, I don't know. That dude's pretty boisterous about dumb shit. So, whatever. Yeah. Like, I think you're just, people got tired of your shitty movies. Did he have a shitty he had, tons, he had tons of shitty movies where he's yeah where he's all those things like the the he like what's that one where he's, Bigelow, right yeah that was all right the first one yeah and then like there's the one where he like um sees fat chicks as skinny chicks or something reb schneider cool. is a dick to women <laughs> in real life this number reb schneider is a total dick and he's going to learn that being a dick isn't as cool as you think it is. <laughs> and I'm Casey Kasem. And if you okay. haven't seen Beetlejuice yet, and if you haven't seen all the figures from NECA and every other company, Mezco, well then make way for McFarlane. Because do you think McFarlane's going to do the same figures that everyone else does? Beetlejuice in the striped suit and Beetlejuice in the wedding gear? Well make way for McFarlane's. Beetlejuice in striped suit and Beetlejuice in the wedding gear. Yeah. But now yeah. these figures aren't super detailed. They're super plain and super stupid. And also, they're not posable. I'm Casey Kasem. This was Todd McFarland. <laughs> this summer, Todd McFarland is jokerizing Casey Kasem. <laughs> And that's right, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm also not going to be posable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Limited articulation. And I also am Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's go to... Uh, oh, that's what happened recently. Hasbro PulseCon, which was uh, hosted by Jordan Hembro. And if you don't know him, he was... He had that show on the Travel Channel about hunting toys called The Toy Hunter. And yeah, uh, recently on me and uh, Chisel's other podcast, I got a bad feeling about this, exploring the dark side of Star Wars fandom. He was involved in this massive scandal, man. Like, uh, there was a YouTuber, Junk Man, who... It was just a long story involving Opie and Anthony uh, catfishing <laughs> people, pretending to be a 14-year-old girl. Jordan Hembro's involved. A bunch of other toy collectors are involved. It, it got nasty, but that episode should be out when this episode's out, so worth, check it out. I've got a good but uh, at Hasbro Toy Con, they had a bunch to show off, so we'll start with uh, Marvel Legends, and they showed off their Spider-Man animated series, uh, Vulture, and, of course, Spider-Man. So that's a two pack, and I think this still comes in a windowless box. Are they still doing yeah, this? What the fuck is wrong with them? Yeah, they are. Um, also, the fan vote winner, which there's a vote for sometimes to make a Marvel figure, and I don't know what it was between, but the one who won was the X Force version of Nightcrawler. So he's in the black and gray. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah, but I like it. People really like Nightcrawler a lot. I, I'm indifferent about Nightcrawler. It's, it's the version of X-Men I don't really care for, you know? He's, the, like, the older team, not really the Jim Lee team, you know? But whatever. Yeah, uh, Nightcrawler, yeah, yeah. He, he's a cool character, but I've never been a huge fan. Yeah. What I have to say, they uh, ninety X-Men 97 really exploited what you could do with Nightcrawler. Sure the way they were using the three swords and him like flipping it out with the swords I've never seen that shit all the nightcrawler you ever see is like he comes in and picks somebody up and then drops them you know teleports and then drops them from the sky or something yeah like he that. just like crawls around like a spider monkey and, and can tell yeah. that's his power so that was pretty cool to see him like that yeah it, no it definitely was uh, they also showed off their whole Secret Wars uh, wave, which is Wolverine, uh, Spider-Man, black suit, of course, and he's got the hands to do the the Secret Wars pose from that one comic book cover that everyone knows. Uh, the Beyonder, which comes with the fucking orb thing that he loves. Uh, Captain America, and he's got a broken shield in pieces, which is pretty cool. Uh, an Iron Man that we've seen a thousand times, and whoever that uh, other woman is, I, I don't I didn't catch her name, but still. People love Secret Wars, man, and that's yeah. what we're he heading into in the, the MCU, right? I mean, yes. So, yeah, this the Captain America is pretty good. I don't have a cap, so and I've been waiting for one. People are saying sure. this is probably one of the best caps that they put out. Um, maybe 
like you got to see it in hand first but yeah they're saying uh, closeness to the comic book it's it's one of the better ones i really like the the ultimate captain america that came out months and months ago i just put like belts and shit on him from a gi joe and it looked really cool but yeah um also with star wars they had uh some vintage collector <coughs> stuff like a Tatooine Moss Eisley street set that's probably like 50 bucks for a couple of bunch of plastic shits and uh, let's see they, they had Anakin uh, Indara who's who's dead and didn't matter and is also cancelled um, Deidre Moro or whatever her name is and a couple of other vintage but the, the, the Black Series stuff they came out with a new sculpt for Farmer Luke and Leia so I and people are saying the likeness is better on this Luke. I'm like I don't I don't see it at Who all. Who cares? I don't see it, and yeah, I also don't care. Yeah, <laughs> Chisel does. But uh, for their gaming greats, they're finally doing Shadows of the Empire. So they got I don't know their names. D- Dagan, Gera, uh, and then probably pretty soon coming a Dash Rendar. Yeah. I, I I did play yeah. that game. I don't really remember it so much, but I, I did play it. It was good, but I mean, it doesn't hold up. I tried playing it like recently, and it's like, Whoa. oh, I'm sure it doesn't. None of those Star Wars games really hold up. I mean, with all the sh- new shit that's now, you know, yeah, they were just good at the time. Yeah, uh, and also with GI Joe Classified, so they announced uh, Leatherneck Dial Tone. Xander, Saw Viper, uh, let's see, Heavy Duty, Low Rider, no, Law, Law and Order, my bad, <laughs> I read it, Law, Low Rider, uh, let's see, and Starduster, which he's got the, the jetpack, and he's also got a cereal box, which is pretty fucking awesome, I really like that a lot. How many fucking Joes were there? There's, there's fucking tons, man. You know, yeah, long that line was out, out. Just making up yeah, new shit. And yeah. like it's weird because the classified line now they're giving names to them where they didn't really have names. Um because like the grunts and shit, right? No. Like actual like uh like characters that you know didn't have a name, you know, like Leatherneck or something. If you didn't have a name, they give them a fucking name. Like something da da leather whatever. Oh, I get what you're saying, like their real name. Yeah. Like and I don't, code name. yeah, but they put their code name in the middle, and I think they yeah. they did that for a lot of reasons because they didn't license every fucking name or copyright every fucking name, you know. And now other people own those names. Like I, I forget there was a certain Joe, and it's like a a band's name, uh, like a metal band, and they couldn't use it without you know putting some moniker before and, and after it. That's like Sierra Mist. I don't get that it. Soda? Yeah. So Sierra Mist had uh that's a Pepsi product. That's like their or no, it's Coke. That's their like Sprite or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they their patent ran out on it and they didn't realize it. The name Sierra Mist. Mm-hmm. And there was a a TikToker and she's like she's real big and her name's Sierra Mist. Real big. Right? And mm-hmm. so they tried to come at her. Oh really? Like you gotta stop using Sierra Miss as her TikTok then, name, or whatever her name is online, and she's big, right? I guess. And then um, she got a lawyer, and then they found out that they didn't have the patent anymore, and oh, she shit. patented it. Oh wow! She patented it, and now Sierra Miss is called Starry. Oh, it is okay. I thought that was a new shitty soda. <laughs> nah, it's just Sierra Miss, bro. Uh-huh. Remember Surge? That was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that was good stuff. I liked Surge. Surge was pretty good. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, so also, did Cornholio. <laughs> also with uh, Hasbro Pulse Con, uh, Transformers. So they announced uh, Cosmos, Bumblebee, Cybertron mode, uh, Armada, Wheeljack, Ramjet, uh, Tarn, and a Galaxy Shuttle. I, I I feel like I'm speaking gibberish. I, I feel like I'm yeah. at the auto shop and they're going, ah, yeah, you need a new ramjet. Uh, the Armada strain and the wheel jack needs to yeah. be pumped up to fix the tarn. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll give you a ride back home in the Galaxy shuttle. So you're 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 set. Yep. Good, good to go. That'll yeah, be ten man. million be dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Fucking ramjet. And look, I know for a fact that um, the fucking mechanics, they make a killing, bro, because as you know, I deliver car parts, right? We're the we're the we're the wholesale for these mechanic shops. Yeah. So I see their receipt. And and a lot of fucking like I got a couple of mechanic guys there that are cool. So with me they, they charged for like a new full set of tires and a rotation. <laughs> like that's well, stupid. Like, no, you don't it's need more the like rotation it's, now. It's more like they buy the alternator for seventy dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. Install it, but they charge the for the, the alternator, they'll charge either way above way above the resale price oh yeah so that so that's how they get their money they get the part for free well not for free but very real cheap but they charge for the part heavily and then the, the labor and like they'll come up to me and be like hey look bro i fucking bought this i bought this rack and pinion 120 i'm charging this motherfucker 1200 when is rack and pinion coming out in transformers i don't know <laughs> alternator rack and pinion starter spark yeah. plug uh, 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 brake drum. <laughs> sure. Gas tank. Actuator. <laughs> yeah. Act- Steering <laughs> wheel. <laughs> Blinker. Rear view, rear view mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Winter wiper. Cigarette burns in the carpet. <laughs> Upholstery. <laughs> yeah. Throw up stains in the back. <laughs> Catalytic converter. <laughs> Broken mirror in the headrest. <laughs> Duct tape, <laughs> Bondo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it for the news. Let's get to recent acquisitions. Gonna sell it to you out the motherfucking bag Cause you hood cast for life Gonna be there, gonna take it real time Recent acquisitions, what we picked up this week Yo, Cobra, what'd you pick up? Uh, I didn't buy anything this week Nothing Nothing! <laughs> no. Absolutely nothing! Good for you, man You're like Well, it's so not because my choice <laughs> Well, you're lowering your A1C which Yeah, is, which and- is the newest Transformer that's going to be coming out to uh, right. A1C. I think yeah, A1C. Yeah, Jardians and Wigovi and uh, Ozempic. Oh, Ozempic. Yeah. He's... Ozempimus Prime. Ozempimus Prime. Hell yeah. He, he's, <laughs> thank you for lowering he, your weight. He turns into a little <laughs> pen that you, that you inject yourself with. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's... <laughs> but I did receive my... um. <clears throat> My uh, AliExpress package. Auto pins assimilate. Yeah. <laughs> what your what? So, I got my Peter B. Parker uh, bootleg. Oh yeah. All right. And I got my Guyver bootleg. Uh, I didn't how's, how's the bust him out yet. Oh. Okay. I did. I, I didn't bust him out yet because I got yelled at by my partner. Oh, you got to save it for a show. Yeah. But you didn't save opening the Marvel cards for a show. You're like, I'm just gonna bust these. Well, okay, I'll explain why. Because th- that was the day they dropped. <laughs> so? That means I, I I had even looked at the internet at the time, the YouTube at the time. Oh, uh, okay. There weren't any bus of that yet. Right, yeah. So you want to hit the, the wave before the wave crashes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was one of the main reasons I was like, okay, I'll do it today. Yeah, no, I get and it. Then, and then I got yelled at. By my fucking co- <laughs> by my fucking co-host. How about that too? <laughs> well, on my way out to LA, you know, I like to, you know, when I go on down I five, I I stop at the stupid little towns that got targets, and nobody hits up those targets and shit and WalMarts. Nobody, man. They they ain't got yeah. that many collectors and not not that many people who are driving down five or stopping at these towns. So yeah, I, I hit it. them up. And dude, right. I I found some wrestling figures and shit like that stuff, re- resellable stuff, you know. But stuff I already got. Um, but I did find uh, like two of the the Kino from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, like uh, the the foot soldier packs. Mm-hmm. So the training ones, whatever you know. So I got one of those. The packaging was a little beat up, but I picked the best one, which it didn't matter. I was gonna open it anyways. 
But the Kino, like, he has no double joints at all. Nothing. That's whack. It is. But his legs can do the splits. Like, he can kick hella high, you know, which is weird. They they concentrated on the leg movement, but no double knees, no double arms, which I think is weird for NECA. And right. being an ultimate or whatever, or two-pack ultimate. But anyways, let's get to our listener segment coming up with the gang. Is what they do worthwhile? You wouldn't know anyways. You're barely alive. You're you're weirdly shaking people's hands and touching them sexually. And uh, we don't know what's going on with the whole Diddy thing and what that might expose. But he'll just probably end up dead. We don't know. But uh, maybe listen to that on the after show if we discuss it or not. But if you want to come with the gang, it's easy to do. Go to hoodcastaf.com. And then on the right side of the screen, there's a voice message button. Hit that and uh, leave your voice. Play a character. I can ask a question or just say some dumb, ignorant shit. Because we're going to play it and we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, I don't know, somehow give you a new one. <laughs> Alright, with that, let's uh, let's look at uh, some callers that called in. Let's see. We got our first call from the Pot Dog, who's been calling him religiously, so I gotta respect that, man. This dude, yeah, man. he's like 4 for 4 yeah. right now, I think. And even some shows, he had a real quick, you know, called in twice, you know. So let's hear from the Pot Dog. <clears throat> What's up, dudes? It's the Pot Dog. How you doing? Arr- Arr- Hope you guys are doing good. I was just thinking the other day, man, it's been fucking 20, 30 almost years of Pokemon. Are you guys into Pokemon? No. Even if you don't collect the cards, the Pokemon figures right now are hitting really hard. Like the Target Deluxe figures, 20 bucks. You get like a 112 scale. Yeah, they're <laughs> They're pretty dope, but uh, I, be I have Pokemon the very on my brain, best. so I hope you guys are ready. I sound um, like me blow. I want to be the very best. Like no oh, one yes. ever was. To catch them is my real test. And to train them is my yeah. goal. Yeah, yeah. I will travel across the land. So chill far and wide. Teach Pokemon to understand the power. In a world in a world in Now do chim yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> Mow! <laughs> don't even get me started on the second Alabama season. Alabama, man. God damn. That was a fucking jam, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Chim Pokemon. Do it. Anyways. Pot Dog's done fucking off. Anyway, toys. <laughs> toys, yeah. They're cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love toys. Related. Peace. <laughs> Bro, uh, dude, we need to get Pot Dog on the show and have like a, like a jam session. Yeah, we gotta have him in studio, like you know Howard Stern when he has bands in, and then like, right. he owns the media. So technically, we own right. that now, kind of. Right. We yeah. Kind of do. We're gonna put out a whole record of Pot Dog's, uh, you know, renditions, gu- guitar stylings. But and be on like at on Channel Twenty at like twelve o'clock at night. The the commercial. Yeah. So I played a lot of the old Pokemon games when they first came out. Like, and I worked at, like, Blimpy's, the sub shop, and, like, I would just play Pokemon and get really high and then, you know, make sandwiches when I had to. And I'd eat frozen brownies because they were delicious when you're really loaded. Like, you break a tooth on these frozen brownies, but they're hella good. And then you make a sandwich, and then you, like, ring the person up, and, and the customer goes, I guess the bread's not the only thing fresh baked. And I wouldn't get it at all. I just wouldn't get it. Right. Go over my fucking head. And then I'm standing underneath the sign that says fresh break. Whatever. And then but, you're like, you're like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. Right. I don't know. I got fired. 
I got fired from a gas station. I worked there for like two weeks. Uh, let's see. We got a message, and it is from where is he? I think it's from my boss. Yeah, he's right here. What? Yeah. So my boss says he goes. I've been listening to you guys for months. Got the swag. Subscribe to Patreon, and you listen to this guy on video. I'm just giving you grief. I think he's talking about Gary from the last show, Gary V. I'm just giving you grief. Whoever gives you what you need for you to realize your full potential, I'm all for it. So glad for uh, both of you are stepping into your truth. I'm a dedicated fan, and I can't wait to see what more you guys will explore. Great hearing toy art and pot, pot, pod, pod, pot, dog, lol. Hoodcast AF for life, my boss. Cool, man. Thank you Thanks, for dude. being a dedicated listener. And nah, it's just you know, it's it's one of those things where you hear something and you just want to share it with people. So yeah. And plus, thank you for being a friend. Travel around the world and back again. Uh, my heart is true, and you're a pal and a confidant. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And if you yeah. threw a party. Would you want to invite me? I don't even know what I'm growing with this. <laughs> like, it's something yeah. like that. I don't know. I know the original song was sang by Andrew Gold. It was a brilliant piano songwriter dude who wrote hella people songs. But then he ventured out and did his own shit, and nobody cared. He did this song called Lonely Boy, and nobody gave a fuck. And so he quietly retired. It's until he came back and made one of the best kid Halloween album songs of all time. The spooky, spooky skeletons and witches on their brooms. Like all those songs that you know you've heard, and you don't know who did them. He did. He invented all those stupid Halloween songs. But also Golden Girls. Uh, let's yeah. move on with. Uh, we got Mighty Monarch. We haven't heard from him in a long time. He's probably out doing minion things and stupid minion stuff. I hate minions. I hate, yeah. like, you know, middle aged moms who use minion memes still. Get the fuck out of here with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah. Let's see what the. I don't want to throw so anybody under the bus, but I <laughs> really am clo- close to a, a, a person that oh. does. And I love her with all my heart, and she's beautiful. I'm, and- I'm saying, look, I don't hate these people. I just say that because I say that. You know, yeah. I'm just no, saying. Look, make her to, tell her to knock it off, though. <laughs> I am. Um, like, find yeah. steal some better memes. You know. That you relate to. Not everyone relates to minions. We don't know what you're talking about anymore. Is it on? It's on. 23. Is it on? She's a shit dumber than 21. Greetings, members of the Hoodcast Nation. It is I, the Mighty Mana. I haven't called in in a while. I've been laying back in the car time. Flew to Jamaica for a while. Lived there for a few months. Smoke in the grass and hitting on all the beautiful ladies. And I got bored with that. So I flew over to Australia, picked up old Terry, Terry. and uh, we decided to get a little payback. So uh, I went to the Great Barrier Reef, and I killed the goddamn manta ray that killed Steve Owen. (laughs) I put a spear right through its fucking skull. Frankie. That's what you get. The man was a national treasure. I guess. Taken away so early. So I've been bored, folks. And I decided it was time to get back into action. All right. And while I was doing my internet research, I realized that old Corey Falcon seems to be back in the, back in the saddle, they say. No. People seem to be caring about old... Corey Feldman, so Monarch got me, I'll snatch this dirty fucker and take some money. So last night after his last show, I stuck backstage and I wrapped him up with a fucking three-up sack like Bora. <laughs> I grabbed him and now I've got him back at the, at the Monarch. Well, yeah, I don't want to tell you where it is. It's a secret base. But anyways, he's at my house, and I have him in a cage, and I've been feeding him rich crackers <laughs> and peanut butter. He loves that. He loves it. 
A few people don't give me money. Corey Feldman dies. No. No. What? Dude, he's a no, national treasure. Don't. But here's the thing. Uh, you, I think the monarch works for Hollywood. Because the Holly, Hollywood would really like for Corey Feldman to die. They already tried to cancel him and everything for coming out against, you know, My, pedos and yeah. everything. And, and you know, Hollywood is just nasty and dirty about all that shit. And they try to sweep all that shit underneath the rug. Well, Corey, Corey wasn't wasn't for that. He was like, you know, my 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 other Corey got raped and stuff, and I I said nothing until now, <laughs> and now he's dead. And uh, yeah, well. Look, good for Corey. Whatever he gets, he gets. Well, they're not going to... This is what's going to happen to Mr. Feldog. First of all, he's under contract right now. With the... Rumor has it that all the old Goonies cast has re-signed to do this Goonies TV. Yes, right. So, they filmed the movie. He has he dies on the set. The no, movie's a hit. It's a trap, right? And if he dies on Saturday, what's up with the fell dog? What's up with the what's up with his neck? He falls down trying to impress the old chick. Mouth wants to bang the old the chick from the original one. Right. He starts doing his moves, falls down, breaks his neck. Dude, and he breaks his neck on uh, what's his name's mom statue with the glued upside down dick. With the dick, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, dude, bro. We, we were already writing this, dude. I think they, yeah, we're Hollywood writers now. That there's <laughs> this is gonna be good. And then you know, Data, I don't know what he does. He does some Asian fiber raw shit. Well, then, well, when he falls <laughs> down, he's like pinches of power, pinches of power. Well, that already happened. Remember that? You can't just Maybe do the same to thing. Save him with the pinches of power. Maybe he bites a Fratelli in the dick with the princess of power. Like in the Fratelli's the Fratelli boys' sons, the, the Fratelli's are all dead, so we need new. Yeah, families. but it's their. It's like that's not the only members of that family. Yeah, but they need revenge, really. The Fratelli's. Yeah, they're Italian, bro. Come on. Corey Feldman is a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the too. You know they're going to do some stupid shit like one of them's like a TikToker and a YouTuber and ba 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 ba, you know, and it's it's going to be all dumb. It'll be all, it'll be nostalgic though. I'll still watch it. Why do we need it? We don't need it. We don't need it. We have Stranger Things and all that other bullshit that's the same shit. It's the same shit. It was the same shit. Uh, you know, even like fucking uh, Mystery in a Box fucking Star Wars fuck up dude. Uh, tried to do it with 8mm uh, or whatever it was called. Not not the not the Nicolas Cage movie that was cool. The uh, It was called 8mm or something like that. And it was about like a space alien that lands with kids and shit. And it sucked never seen that they spent a lot of money on it It was supposed to be this big blockbuster and nobody watched it uh the pot dog called back in so and these were in between different dates sometimes the pot dog he called in on the 14th and then he called in on the 20th so that's why i'm gonna play this one okay what's up it's <coughs> the pot dog <clears throat> giving you a little pot review so if you like smoking I got a cool new little thing. Check out Pulsar Vaporizers. Put that in your fucking searchy, googly bing. And when you do that, <clears throat> look at the cool shit. I like the duck, I'm telling duck, you in particular because I'm a Lord of the Rings fan and Jonathan. Yes. Last week, yes. I was listening to the cast and he got on the Lord of the Rings stuff. I fucking love Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings... Oh, they're so good. And I wish I loved The Hobbit as much as I love The Lord of the Rings, but I don't. I don't. Either. I love The Lord of the Rings. They're so good. But you can get Shire Pipes on Pulsar Vaporizer. Oh, shit. And they're the model, like replicas of Gandalf, Aragorn, Boromir, and then they have like custom cool different designs. But dude, they hit really good. They're really nice, like 40 bucks. Like, drop it. They're good. It's worth it. Like, dude, it's really sweet. Uh, the other thing on that website is the Sipper. It's like a little robotic, you know, automatic. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at it. Oh, <laughs> it's really nice. I love it. I love it. 
Autobot smoke up. I love it. This weed is called potatoes. You should not say blunts. What's potatoes? I love it. Yo, these uh, also check out uh, Cannabis fire. Hardware if you're into ball vapes. If you don't know what a ball vape is, it's like a little mm. electric box that I know what a heats ball a little gag coil is. really fucking hot, like 600 degrees, and then you vape your dry herb, and it's like, phew, they say it's the tastiest, best hit you can get on dry herb. Let's bring dry herb right. back. Guys, this is Pot Dog with a real Pot Dog Day. Dude, Have Pot good. Dog's got a lot of knowledge, and dude, he knows about Lord of the Rings. And I know about Lord of the Rings enough that I know about all their weed, which is mostly like tobacco stylings and stuff, but it, it does have different effects and there's certain hobbits that know where the best sort of weed and they don't give away their secrets of where the weed or where it's grown or they know it's somewhere around Bree maybe. There's all kinds of shit that, you know, Tolkien explains about the stupid hobbit weeds and different weeds. And it's yeah, these tobacco. pipes are these pipes are like fifty two bucks, he's wrong. Well, maybe they went up because now they're like, they've been on our show and now the price goes up. As soon as I searched it. Yeah, because they know. Yeah. They they got, you know, they know. Well, Big Brother's watching, man. Right. Uh, we got a call from Bingo. Let's hear from Bingo. Am I? Hey, Bingo. I tell you, Johnny Bingo. Hey, hello, hello, everybody. Right. We're good. Oh, fucking bingo. Fucking three, three shits in the wind again. Don't throw shit in the wind. Oh, uh, but since the season, I got drunk on pumpkin spice liquor. <laughs> love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Basic it. White, it's right in the old fucking gizzard right there. I'll tell you what, that. Oh. Well, but it don't taste so good coming up. So, oh, oh, fucking bingo's got a few fucking jokey, jokey pools for you fellas tonight. <laughs> so, uh, 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 shut up out there, Jesus. Hey, okay. I thought I'd, I thought I'd fucking give them to you. So, the other day, old bingo went to the doctor, and the doctor told me I needed to stop master, masturbating. And, the, and I said, why? And, it, and he said, because I'm trying to give you an exam. <laughs> I saw Bingo! that. <laughs> yeah, my doctor said the same thing about Yeah, because I, I pulled it out right there. <laughs> uh, Don't put it there. You know, I go. saw a really most the thing about Barbie, and I was wondering, how come there's been no pregnant Barbies? Do you know why? There was one. There's no pregnant Barbies because Ken came in another box. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, yeah. in the book one. Hey, guys, did you know that my penis was in the Guinness Book of World Records? I looked it up. Mm, but the librarian asked me to take it out. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, that's right. You fucking <laughs> have a good night. I'm going back. That's pretty good. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That one's uh for the birds. Or for the cats? In Springfield, uh-huh. they're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Break it down, down, Rasta they're man. They're eating the pets. The ghost of the grunge gang. Live there. They don't care about they're the dogs and the, the cats. Dogs. They're eating the cats. <laughs> they're eating the pets. Of the people that live there. This yeah. dude, uh, people love Springfield, the Kipnis, he put this shit out quick after that uh, debate. Yeah, dude. It, dude, he got, I mean, he's working on like 7 million fucking views on one video because he has multiple, you know, and people are reposting the same shit. I know a couple other people who did all the songs, but weren't we past all these songs? Like these re-edits, oh, no, come on, man. I love them, dude. I always, I always love them. But I love like the meow, and it's like echoes. It's so good. I mean, we're, we're without songs like these, we would never have the Negro champion. Oh, 
I, uh, Negro icon Cody Rhodes, right? Yeah. Which is great. Can we even say that word, Negro? I mean, as long as it's in context, you can't use it in anger. Or nothing. It's a real word, dude. They have colleges and in shit. Spanish. It's not Negro. It's Negro. That sounds better and fancier. Well, but- it means black. This song's stuck in my head. We don't say goodbye. We say good journey. Good journey. I was with my Jenny and I said good journey when she got the HIV. And this is what's happening in our country. I guess this is really goodbye, huh? Hey, man. You love hand and arms. Don't, don't say goodbye. Say good journey. There's an old attorney saying, live the journey. For every destiny is but a doorway to another. Good journey. Good journey.